Hi, welcome back to ExchangeTimes.net, another Python video or Python related video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PyQt5 and the tools for, for Qt or Qt, however you want to pronounce it, for the designer to create Python GUI applications. Yesterday, I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. I went to the official website, downloaded the source, couldn't make install, I got different errors, different version issues, and I decided no, there must be a better way. And I found a better way, and I'm going to show you the better way. And I will be sharing the link below this video and on the blog post of all these steps that I'm, I'm going to follow. So the first thing we want to do is show you there's no PyQt. So there's no PyQt designer or Qt designer or any Qt tools. So you want to open terminal. I do not have pip installed as yet. So I need to install that. If you follow the directions below, uh, will be pip3 install dash dash user by qt5 it will tell you pip3 not found so you can just install it with sudo apt install python3 dash pip and you provide your password and then we say yes, we want to install it. And there we go, it's started doing its thing. And it's installing. Almost done. Great. So I'll clear my screen. So now we can go. Pip3 install dash dash user space pyqt5 so we have four commands we want to run this is the first one and say successfully installed pyqt sip so that's installed pyqt sip and pyqt5 5, 5 12, 1 Next, we want to sudo space apt dash get the need space dash the just apt installs fine python 3 dash by qt5 so sudo space apt space install space python 3 dash by qt5 hit enter 24 megs Yes, we want to install it. Enter. Let's wait for that to install. Boom. So we clear the screen again. Right, so now we want to install the dev tools. So sudo space apt space install space by qt5 dash dev dash tools it says it's going to install it let's go let's go okay that's done last one is a qt tools 5 dev tools so sudo apt install Qt tools 5 dash dev dash tools and enter. Yes, we want to install that. And it's almost complete. Okay. So I'm just going to close my terminal. Now we should see the Qt tools. There we go, Qt Designer, Qt Assistant. And let's open Qt Designer. Ta-da! Create. And we can do some GUI development with Python using the Qt Framework and Qt Designer. 
That's it. That's how easy it was. And I was literally spent probably two hours trying to do it the other way around. This was straightforward and easy. I'll have the link to the, the GitHub page I used. And a big shout out and thank you to UJJWAL96. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Ujval Verma. Uh, for for the steps provided for this video so that's it next one I'll be doing on my personal YouTube page because that's more programming related thanks for watching have a good one bye bye